In this lesson, we will understand what tasks are. As you already know, work on any project is broken up into tasks. In simple terms, you can say tasks are the simplest units of work in a project. These tasks are the building blocks of a project's schedule. In project management, a task is an activity that needs to be accomplished within a defined period of time. On the screen, you are seeing the project schedule we had created in the first exercise. Each one of these rows is a task. Microsoft Project provides you a great deal of control over how you define a task and how you can manipulate it in your project schedule. In fact, if you look over at the ribbon now, the first and foremost tab is called task and all of these are controls that help you manipulate your tasks. When you first create a new task, project creates it either in a manual mode or an automatic mode. I will explain what that means. Currently, we are in the automatic mode. So when I create a new task like this, project will create extra fields for me as you can see here the duration of the task, the start and the end dates. Duration means how long the task takes to complete. Start date and end date default to today primarily because the duration is one day. But now I will change over to a manual mode like this. Okay and create another sample task. When this task is created in manual mode, project doesn't create default fields but leaves it to us to define all the properties of the task. When automatic tasks are linked into a schedule like we did in exercise 1, Microsoft Project takes over the management for those tasks in all respects and it has several built-in algorithms that are put into usage when managing the schedule. I will show for example, now these are automatic tasks and I am going to link them to create a schedule. You can see Microsoft Project has used its algorithm to build out a schedule. This will not happen with manual tasks. So you will now be wondering when to use either of these modes. The vast majority of tasks should be designed to be automatic. That is when you tap into the full power and magic of Microsoft Project. We will see a great many examples in the exercises in this course where we use this automatic tasks. You should use manual tasks very rarely in the situations that you want a specific control of a task property. For example, if a task is very hard bound to a specific date or a duration, you will probably use manual tasks. So let us wind up this lesson for now. This has been a high level introduction to tasks, but now we know enough to proceed further. In a later section, I will do an in-depth analysis of tasks explaining eight properties of tasks in Microsoft Project. See you in the next lesson.